Hi, so in this video, I'm looking to build a flip over tools rest for a cowl's lathe, and I started planning it out with on shape, cutting a steel base, and then using the milling machine to go and face all that up. I also made the flip over rest section, which are made out of two pieces, and it'd probably been nice to make it out of one, but then I drilled straight through so that I could make the pin which would act as the pivot for the flip over rest. You can see that there, which I've tapped right down at the bottom, just on one side, and obviously a smooth pin in the center to create the hinge piece. You can see that here I'm making the hinge pin out of a small piece of brass rod, which like I say, I've just turned down and then I cut a V in the top for a screw. And in this section, that is, this is the collet which holds the top plate. And I'm just slicing that through so that I can clamp down on that and hold the, the top rest in place. Okay, so we've got a piece of one inch silver steel in now and I'm gonna try and make the actual rest itself. So this is the bit that I've been a bit nervous about. So I turned down the silver steel to start forming the base for the rest and made sure that that fit really smoothly into the collet. Uh, tight enough of course to clamp down on it and hold it tight but loose enough to lift it and raise it quite easily. I also put an angle on the rest on the milling machine which I did off camera and then it was time to heat treat this so I got it to a nice glowing cherry red, held it there for quite some time and then quenched it. And I got this fairly hard, um, I probably could have got it a little bit harder but it should do the job. So now I'd hardened this piece of steel, it was all ready to give a quick polish and then it was ready to put back on the table and I was quite pleased how this piece turned out. It looks quite small in comparison to the size of the whole thing but actually it's a good size and, and appropriate. This was just the uh, collet clamp. Uh, and then a few other little pieces that I just had to finish off, one of them being the knurled nut that holds the whole thing to the table. I wanted to test it out and couldn't find my graver, so at this point I grabbed some silver steel and turned it down just so I could have a go. Okay, so that's the finished tool rest. Um, I ended up just going with this little uh, ball nut, uh, knurled nut to tighten it down and clamps up just fine. Uh, flip over tool rest works just nicely. So I'm in a little bit of a rush just to give this a test out and uh, like I say I've cobbled together this little uh, graver and I've done my best to get a 30 degree angle on there. Polished it up as best I can, I've not even got a uh, jig yet for actually grinding that end down. But we'll give it a go because I'm eager to try it out so here we go. <laughs> Quite nice actually. I feel, feel I'm getting into a shoulder. So yeah, just a little bit of a test really, just to give it a go. Like I say, I'm sure if I had a proper sharp graver, and this this stock isn't in, isn't flat by the way either. I've uh, I've just been messing around with it a minute ago, so it's got a few grooves in it, so that's why it's not cut, cutting nice and straight on there but I can see material coming up and more importantly than anything the uh, rest the rest is doing its job so ignore my horrendous uh, ignore my horrendous graver <laughs> um, work but ultimately the two post doing its job I just need to uh, get a bit of practice in now okay so that's the finished product Flips over quite nicely. There's the uh, tightener, and yeah, it uh, seems to do the job. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And like I say, all the plans are available over uh, on the website as well. 
Cheers. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.